So, hello my dear colleagues. Like I told you or I promised, I want to show you the now, now the best solution I have for all of most, most of my drawing and painting stuff. Because I'm, I'm not always drawing at the same place. So I like a solution which I can carry around with me. Then I saw this in a shop for tools. So it's a normal toolbox. But the first most important thing is that I can see what's in it. You know, so it's not closed. That's very important in my case. So that I can see immediately if I have everything with me. And of course this is much more than I would need when I go um, for plain air, for outdoors. But I take this, put it in the car, and then I take it in a smaller bag, what I need for this special day. Okay, so uh, you can get some similar um, tool bags at Amazon, I saw, smaller ones, and also bigger ones. And then we can walk through my drawing tools, I would say. Let's start. Yeah, that's very nice here. That fits this, that in this case my always used A5 sketchbook fits in very well. And so I think this was the main addition to put the my main sketchbook because I love these thicker ones. Um, I can fit here in this side bag. Then water of course for the water. The, these are very nice, very handy, very useful when you go outside for watercolor. Then I have different inks with me. I use this. I use these inks and this one for the tip pens and then the sketching two bottles because I need very much of them uh, are for the fountain pens I show you in a second. Some water spray. I mostly use only the water because I don't, uh, my type of work is not that I'm, I use the spray, but the water in it of course. Then we have another permanent ink for the tip pens. Another, okay that's a new one, sketch ink. And this is a small so that I can put some of these uh, bigger bottles, the ink, in this smaller one. So that I don't spill it over accidentally from these larger ones. Okay, that's the ink part. Another small sketchbook, but this is just for, for notes, what I have to do. So also for YouTube and their toolbox here, then I can check it when it's done. Then everybody knows these tapes. So just for surrounding sometimes, I, I don't do this all the time, but to fix the paper when it's a little bit windy. Then I have here two rulers because sometimes I'm not very happy when I want really straight lines, so not a little bit angled or bobbled. So I do with pencil some guiding lines and then I can orientate my drawings on these vertical straight lines. Yes, here on the side we have clamps uh, as well here and here. Yeah, and then I never can decide which watercolor to use. So I have this one. This is not too small and not too big. So this is a, uh, and there fits one, two, five, 15, 15, yes, 15 uh, pens, full size pens in it. So this is uh, one of my most used 
palette. This case is made from Schminke, but you get it from other brands as well. And then, yeah, this is a palette when I need more space to mix uh, my color, my paint. So this is not always uh, uh, needed. And then this is mainly for studio work. A palette with much more different colors and paints. But you know, there is space enough so I have it with me when I go, uh, especially in the garden or painting in the living room on the couch. And so that then this is with me. Yeah, and here on the other side, there is this long, this long, Satchel part for the for the brushes, the bigger brushes, rounded brushes. This uh, so Chinese style brush. So when I do trees or bushes, this is very nice. And one was uh, an Escoda Barocco. This is also Escoda from the yeah from the Alvaro Castanet uh, series. And this is a more precise tip there. Let's do this here. Okay, when we talk about brushes, here on the side, here I have my two travel uh, sets from Escoda. The first one, at first I bought this, the green one, because I love the color. But to be honest, now I use it much more than in the beginning, because when you're a beginner, you don't use that often, maybe this long, more a rigger brush. Now I use it for grass and, and branches and so on. But in the beginning, to be honest, I, I didn't use it. But what I very, uh, as well as this flat, uh, this flat brush, uh, I nowadays I use it more often for the facade of buildings and for shading under the roof. But always, till now, so till the last three years, I use this. This is a perfect size with a precise tip uh, and can't read it anymore. It's a number 16 or 18 from this travel, from this green tra travel set from a Skoda. Always be careful so that you don't, that you don't hurt the bristles. And then, so in the beginning, I bought this set, this is the red set. And there you get a little smaller one, this is number 12. And, uh, oops, okay, and number six, so this is for more, the smaller windows and such objects, and then something in between, the white one, called the eight, number eight. So these are the sizes nowadays I use daily, so they look like that. Then one of my first travel palettes was this one. Yeah, so this is more than half the size. Half the size. But this is a, there is a, a water uh, tank, a water reservoir in it. But I never use this. Uh, but it's very, very nice. It's uh, filled up with about eight colors and uh, I added uh, four colors more. But I like this form factor, form factor. So I carried it with me, as well as this. Here I'm. I filled up uh, this palette. Let me see. And this one. Yeah, these are the Rembrandt, I think. It also can be Daniel Smith or vice versa. So not would be a good idea when I mark it, but to be honest, I don't see when you get good quality watercolor. Maybe there are some difference between 
particular special colors paints but overall I use them for really my large drawings and never had problems with any of them when they are in good quality so not the cheapest of course let's go on here on this side you see here that's also very handy because here I'll show it here as well I have the tools the I want to have immediately so these are fine liners from Windsor and Newton I mostly use uh, the other ones from Marauding because they look very nice so very stylish but I like more the thickness of the rotoring so same quality I would say so it's only how it fits in your hand so up to anybody else this is my newest nice thing this I will show you later because I have an open one a knife always a good idea when there comes new drawing stuff from Amazon to quickly open it oh, this is a nice from uh, from Kawaiko you see very minimalistic this extra fine nip a Kawaiko fountain pen um, the only thing is this is quite heavy so it's good for sketching but when I should draw really all day long it's for me it's a little bit then too heavy and yeah a thicker pencil for fast sketches yeah and then we have these three you know there is very much room in it and then we have this satchels here I think here is only what I have I don't know what's inside here ah yeah so this one ah yeah and here is one of I got three or five of them because here you have a, here you have the brush side and brush and here you have a, a finer fine one I can show it here as well this fine end and then here the brush end and or to know these are water from Kuretake these are water soluble yeah but this is a nice effect because I did from time to time here I use watercolor with the uh, water soluble ink and then you get these, these gradations these shadings so this is uh, and the, the, the fine lines they are with the waterproof um, pens and then I do these bigger shadings with this water soluble here was everything waterproof everything waterproof and here you see this bluish grays these are from the Kuretake yeah and as well here but here's much too too much water and here I no these are from watercolor but this one as well from Kuretake I think these are you can get this in a set and these are waterproof yeah and uh, here we have some brush pens and I thought maybe it's a good idea to fill them up with watercolor with mixed watercolor so that I can do some coloring quickly when I'm on the run or on the outside yeah but I don't use them too often ah this one I need in another bag so what else we have here Daniel Smith Schminke so my main colors so they they are always with me some brushes Asian Asian style and another one of these sorry yeah, and this one I should fill with water when I need water yeah, and this is one of my mostly used uh, because I think they, for my, they fits better in my hand than the other ones sticky graphic from, from uh, Rotoring okay but I can do this there this there okay yes so what else do we have ah yeah 
I was often asked, you can use any of this um, cable organizer. This is nothing else than a cable organizer. And here my, my graphic liners and pencil and mechanical pencil, they fit very well inside here. Also you have here this net and there is another part here. Also you can fill up with, do I have something for this? No. And here I have these calligraphic parallel pens as well as some of this ah, because I have an extra one here for my tip pens. Okay, it's ah yeah. Okay. So cable organizers highly recommended for pens to organize your pens. Yeah and then because when I go outside and I only have a small batch uh, bag. I have my sketchbook and then these are my main tools. So these are really the tools I have to use, I use every day. This is an injection needle to refill the cartridges uh, which are inside these pens. So there is a, a field pen, so there is a banded nib for the broader, thicker shadow lines, a bent hill pocket brush, one F and one EF, so fine and extra fine uh, pelican fountain pen, and then are, like I showed you, these uh, graphic liners here, another smaller travel brush, Ah, and I like this from Renaissance, I think. Yeah, Renaissance, a Polish uh, manufacturer. Also very nice, very handy, especially for these uh, weird uh, bushes and, and trees and crowns from the trees. Yeah, so that I have some uh, gray shadings uh, for my ink drawings. Ah, and there is, and there is my latest, newest um, Kuretake, I think it's Kuretake, uh, fountain pen, because it's, uh, it's very small when you close it, but when you open it, and then here, it, it fits in my hand and I can draw, and it's also uh, filled up with this uh, sketching, made for fountain pens, only use this for fountain pens. Here's the cartridge in it, you see here. And you can fill up these fountain pens by screwing here the end of this cartridge or what I think it's not that messy to fill up one of these dump injection needles you get as well from Amazon and then put it in here and so that's the way I refill my, my cartridges for the fountain pens. So, and that's all my secret behind this relatively new, relati ah, there are, okay, there are some uh, other things you can, but sadly they don't fit here in, no, too small. Okay, so let's refill this. Ah, well, this was wrong. One, two, three, four. Fountain pen and pencil here. The long brushes here. The knife here. Great that I did this video because this brush pen uh, I really love and use want to use them all the time and I was looking for it and it was in the in the other in the cable organizers bag.
So, oh, two very important things. I forgot my. So where are the red one? Ah, oh, here's the red one. And this one here. So, now I'm ready to go outside. <laughs>